Okay, so question number four. Um, we've got this swimming pool here, shown by the diagram, and it fills up with water, and we want to find out whether uh, Jeremy can fill up his uh, swimming pool within the 10 hours. So we've got quite a lot to do here. It's worth five marks, so it's quite a chunky question. Um, so the first thing, let's work out the volume of the swimming pool. So the first thing we need to remember that it, the volume of the prism is equal to the area of the cross section, so that's that bit on the end, times the length. Okay, so let's first work out the area of the cross section. The area of cross section. So, well, it's really in two bits. I'm going to break this. This is kind of like, can you see if I just divide it across here? I'm going to have a rectangle here, which is 15, the same as the back, a 1 by 15 rectangle. So the area of that is 1 times 15. Okay, so that's this bit here, the whole thing. And then um, it's plus this triangle here. So I need to find out the length of this triangle. Well, first of all, so from here to here, it's the same as here to here. So this bit's 1. The whole thing is 3. So this bit here must be worth two that goes from there down to there and then this bit along here the whole length is 15 this length is 10 so it must be five going from here to here so to work out the area of this triangle so the area of the triangle is the base times the height halved or half of the base times the height so the base is five the height is two and i'm halving that so therefore that is uh, 15 for the rectangle, five meters squared for the triangle, which is a total of 20 meters squared. So if I want to work out the volume of the swimming pool, volume, um, I'm going to take that area, 20, and I'm going to times it by the length. So well, it's 10 back here, isn't it? It's 10 from front to back, so times that by 10. So the area is 200 meters cubed. That's, sorry, the volume is 200 meters cubed. Well, we're dealing with litres here, so let's convert that to litres. So if I times it by a thousand using this here, uh, that equals uh, 200,000 litres. Okay, so let's Let's think about it. So there's a couple of things I could do here. I could either find out how long it's going to take uh, to fill up this 200,000 litres and then see if it works out in the 10 hours. Or I could see how much I could fill up in the 10 hours and see if it's going to actually fill up the pool. Okay, so I'm going to do the second way, but you can do the other way first and you'll, still get, uh, you'll get a similar answer, you're just going to compare it. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, it uh, fills up at 5 litres per second. So I'm going to try and find out how much I can fill up in the 10 hours. So 60 seconds in a minute. So it's going to fill up uh, 300 uh, litres per minute. Okay. So if I take that answer, it turns about 60, I'm going to get uh, 18,000 litres per hour. We know there's 60 minutes in an hour, so if I times that, it's about 60, it's 18,000 litres an hour. And finally, if I take those 18,000, I've got 10 hours available, so that the question generally has 10 hours available. Uh, I can fill up, in the 10 hours, I can fill up 180,000 litres in 10 hours. So, well, let's compare that. We've got to fill up 200,000 litres, that's the volume of the pool. He can only do 180,000 litres in the 10 hours. So, uh, will he be able to fill the swimming pool? No, he will not fill the swimming pool. The swimming.
So if you had a little bit longer, you would be able to do it. Like I said, you could have done this another way. You could have, uh, you could have divided uh, these this number. You could have divided it by various things to work out how long it would take uh, to fill. But uh, I think this way is a little bit easier. And goodness, is a non-calculated paper. Yeah, that's my suggestion anyway. Okay, that's it.